guys and welcome back to my vlog. My name is Nair Richie and this is today I'm to show I wish I could dance more hmm? 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 Back to business. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so um, I'm so beautiful uh, So excited to be with you guys once again. Uh, so before I, I start up, I want to give a shout out to, to people Hey, please Barcy as you know, she was my co-host in the last episode I did and today she's not here because of for some unforeseen circumstances <laughs> so I'll be doing this alone today and I also want to give a shout out to Kali Dupe Gochi uh, the CEO of Last Talk oh my beautiful person I'm a beautiful friend I don't worry she'll be with me next time on the next episode okay uh, yeah I love this girl too much so uh, hi guys hi girls I hope you all are fine all right, today we'll be heading to the part two of what we discussed. Uh, what we discussed in the last episode, uh, we talked about uh, dating a curtain before marriage. Whether you would prefer it, or whether you advise someone to date or cut before marriage or not, because some persons they really don't. And then I have found out that um, it's actually very advisable. I mean, it's way too good for you to date and cut before marriage, so that when you get into marriage, you don't just crash because you just get it to know the person either ways that's uh that's not a topic for today a topic for today is basically i'm going to give my opinion uh, of how i feel about long-term relationship yeah how you how do you feel about long-term relationship like uh when you see some people or some persons date for two years three years four years five years ten years i have so I'll be giving my opinion on how I feel about long-term relationship. Yeah, that's like the continuation of the last one we did. So guys, that's just my opinion. Yeah, when I'm done, you should just drop your comments and probably give me your opinion on that. Okay, who else is in my pillow? My hair to show. And who else loves my hair? So uh, yeah, give a shout out to my hair, my hairstylist. Hey, I'm um, Tamara. He did my hair. It's so lovely. So lovely. And yeah, I got a lot of uh, comments on this. On People asking me whether this is my natural hair because I mean I've been a naturalista for like three years now so basically yes this is my natural hair I didn't relax it not for anything I'm not thinking of relaxing my hair anytime soon now so okay, so this is my natural hair it's all weight well laid so beautiful I'm very simple too okay back to what we have today how how do I feel about long-term relationship like you see people you see some couples or Dates for two years, three years and all. How? How would you even date? Okay, basically, uh, one year, two years, two and a half years, that's actually advisable. I mean, that's, that's good. That's decent enough. I mean, in as much as it doesn't take uh, the whole year for you to get to know someone, but this is a real, this uh, like marriage. So you really have to know the person and you really, really need to go through some series of months, series of tests for you to probably decipher who this person really is. Well, let's not dispute the fact that a whole lot of people pretend and all, but basically what do we do? If someone cannot pretend for a long time, right? So you should actually know if someone is actually, um, uh, it's actually pretending. So one year, two year, two and a half, it's basically that that's it. Like basically it. Or if worse come to worse, let's just extend it to three years. Mm-hmm. Let's stay for three years. But three years, it's just it. I really feel those that really go for four, five, six years. I mean what are you what are you doing? You're not getting married like he's not even thinking of proposing to you anytime soon and you guys are still dating you guys are still in the relationship i mean five years six years how about we just get married and then live together like seriously that is so long because uh i've actually done a whole lot of research about this and from the few people i know or the few friends that i know or colleagues i know that i've actually stayed for more years in a relationship when did i finally get married if you like five years they've been dating for like five years and then they get married it's not not one year it just goes all the way down like they can't even stay anymore then you ask yourself why is it are they just good for being in the relationship or what 
so basically you don't really have to know someone for a long time before you decide to settle with the person if you want to be in a relationship with the pre with the, with someone you really know okay this is the person you want to or probably this is the kind of person that complements you okay so that means you really love this person and this might be someone you will marry okay so uh, uh one or two years should just be basically enough for you i mean we're in nigeria and who the girls have no chills <laughs> so many girls really want to get married and then if they have been in the relationship with their guy for for like more than five years and the guy is not even thinking anything about about marriage i mean girl we have to go around we have to just quit the marriage or possibly bring it up for do you even have to ask the guy whether you want to marry me or not? Six, five years, what are you doing with me? Are we just dating for dating sake or are you really getting serious or you want to take this far? Okay, so I really believe that if you stay for like five to six years and then the guy is not hitting, he's not giving you the green light or you're not doing anything, it's, I mean, just walk away. I mean, there are a whole lot of guys out there and there's a whole lot of life for you. Except you just date you for dating sake, that could really explain the fact that you're still in the relationship. But if you're not, and you really want something serious, I mean, you just work away. Some guys now, they really have it. They don't have any chills. They just want to keep you in the house. They're not popping up the question of marriage. That's not cool. And the funny and the worst thing is, some of these guys, they are really, really, they're in a position to help you. They're in a position to probably lift you up or probably um, help you in whatever career or to whatever thing you want to do but they don't why because they want to keep you for themselves they don't want any other person to take you and then but they're not helping you that's not really and yeah the funny it's not about how long you've been in the relationship but actually how well like how well it goes okay and the whole end, end point of this discussion is you really really don't have to stay for years with someone before you get to know the person or before you actually say okay fine I'm ready for marriage it's cool the marriage marriage it actually sensitive okay and you really really need to open your eyes so wide before you get into it yeah it's cool but then don't just use that as an excuse to keep uh, someone with you or tie someone down because you don't know what you want to do or you don't know how you can go about it now if you feel you're not ready to get married to the person to let the person know keeping the person in relationship to just answer oh i have a boyfriend or have a girlfriend for five to six years are you kidding me some people go as far as dating for 10 years what do you just want to want to have fun or you want something more okay i believe that if you really want to get married or, and then you stay in a relationship for more than four years and the guy it's not giving you green light or it's not telling you anything about it or he's not even close to talking to you about getting married my dear you just have to leave like run away seriously because that's not someone you really need to stay with because the funny thing is that some of them keep you in a relationship and then they go out there and probably have someone else you want to get married to but you will not know when they ask you be like oh i have a boyfriend but then you don't know your boyfriend is doing something else that's right so what i feel about long-term relationship actually basically i believe you all will agree with me especially the ladies <laughs> we really don't have any chills two to three years maximum should just be enough for you to know the person uh -uh. What are you knowing again in five to six years? Are you not tired? Like, what are you knowing? So, so the three years, she's, it's a good descent time for you to know someone. Except you don't want to marry the person. So, the ladies, you all should shine your eyes, oh, seriously. Because I know a whole lot of us out there, we are in the relationship, in relationship for a long time. You don't even know where you're headed. You don't know where you're going to. You're confused. So basically, this is it. If you want to get married, or you are thinking of getting married, because I know some of us really want to be single mothers. Or uh, this is my opinion of what I think. Uh, the end, uh, totally two to three years. It's a decent one. Yeah, cool. But if it goes more than that, I that is like oh, no, 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 go away, go away. <laughs> okay, I'm really not a relationship expert though, but I've done a whole lot of research, and then I. I actually know a few of my friends, a few people that I know that have been in this. 
So basically, that's my opinion. Yeah, that's what I feel about long-term relationship. Like, it's not advisable. I mean, so guys, thank you so much for watching my show. That's really, really my opinion, and, and I hope you guys, thank you guys for watching my show. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to go or drop drop your comments down below. All right, thank you so much. See, like meet you guys next time. Bye.